guys got here just in time. I was getting ready to water my plants. Why don't you come with me? So I have a few plants out here on my porch. So I'm gonna go ahead and start watering. You know, now some plants need more water than others. So I'm just water these. And then I have a few cactus plants that don't need much water at all. Cactus grow in the desert, so they don't need a whole lot of water. And now I'm gonna water a few plants that I have inside my house. Come on in. There are many kinds of plants. Tall plants, short plants, baby plants, and dead plants. <laughs> There's still a little green in there. How many different kinds of plants can you find in and around your house. you say? Those are what kind of plants? They're what? Weeds. But they're so beautiful. Did you know that even weeds are plants? See that? You see the roots? See the stem? Some weeds even put out flowers. I have a very special plant inside my house that I would like to show you. Do you want to see it? Yes? Okay, well come on in. This is the special plant I was talking about. Do you guys remember seeing this in my classroom? I got it from one of our students in KB for my birthday. This plant is called a hyacinth plant and it's actually perfect for our study this week because it shows us all the parts of the plant. And so let me show you. The hyacinth plant has the roots at the bottom that are connected to the bulb. And from the bulb comes the stem and then the leaves and finally a beautiful flower that smells so nice. So as you can see, the hyacinth plant is looking a little sad. It's even lost some of its flowers. I, I, I'm not sure how to take care of a hyacinth plant. I think I'm gonna need to do a little bit of research to find out how to make my plant feel better. research, I got some information and knowledge about how to take care of my hyacinth plant. And you know what I found out? I found out that it's okay that the flowers are dry now. That's part of its life cycle. In fact, when the flowers do start to dry off, I found out that you should probably even cut them off of the plant. You just need to be very careful that you don't damage the leaves because the leaves are what make the plant stay strong and alive. And guess what else I learned? I learned that my hyacinth plant doesn't have to stay in this little bottle or this little jar forever. I can actually take it out and 
transferred into another pot. I wonder what I'll need in order to do that. I guess I'm gonna have to do a little bit more research to find out. Will you join me next time so that you can watch me transfer my hyacinth plant into another container? You will? Okay, see you next time.